you so much for stopping back by. I am Tia the Southern Rose and today is another fragrance review. I have a pretty obscene perfume collection though I have culled quite a bit of it over the past few years. Um, but this one is one that I purchased just about two years ago and it came out in 2017. It is Ralph Lauren's Woman. So I love this scent immediately but I wasn't sure if it was going to be a little too mature for me. However, one light spritz and I can smell it all day because it is an eau de parfum and so it does have more of the scent oil as opposed to alcohol which can make a scent evaporate much faster. This uh, retails I think in the $80 range. Please don't quote me on that. I'll find the best price available at the time that this video is published and put it in the description box. But this is nothing about this fruity floral is childish or girlish. This is womanly. The notes that it opens up with those top notes are pear, black currant, and rhubarb according to the manufacturer. And when I smell it, the first thing that hits me is the black currant and that pear being a strong second. So it is very sweet when you first smell it, but it has a lot of body to it. And that's because the mid notes, which you'll notice, of course, after you spritz and let it air dry for a little bit, the mid notes are tuberose, um, let's see, orange flower and Turkish rose. So you've got some pretty well-defined mid-note florals and they smell really, really nice. Very luscious fragrances, very exquisite. It does give you a bit of a floriental feel. So you've got a little bit of spice. It doesn't come across super sweet and floral. There's also a little bit of body to it. It dries down and those base notes include sandalwood, which is extremely wearable for most people. Along with sandalwood, they describe it as vibrant woods, which I'm guessing is just your typical kind of woody scent, as well as hazelnut. And so what I noticed, I've can again just spritz this once maybe spritz it in the air and let it fall over you if you work in an office and you don't want to be too offensive with your scent or if you are enjoying it around your home then you can maybe spritz it on the neck and wrist and it is just a gorgeous scent it smells very lush very exotic but still very sweet as well um think a fun night out dancing in Miami with a couple of your best girlfriends or maybe um, a gorgeous woman if you're into women or a very sexy man if you're into men, whatever. It is a hot night in a gorgeous city that's vibrant and fun and has a little bit of a flair for the exotic. So gorgeous scent. Um, again, Eau de Parfum, you don't need a lot for this scent to last you all day. It has a good amount of silage, so you have to be very careful to figure out what your peak amount or your perfect amount is. You don't want to overspray, but you also don't want to underspray. Um, I think for this one though, it would be very hard to underspray because it is an eau de parfum. So again, Woman by Ralph Lauren. It retails, like I said, in the $80 to $90 range. I'll find the best price that I can on Amazon or any other retailer and put it in the description box. And I'll run over those notes again. You got top notes of pear, blackcurrant, and rhubarb. We've got mid notes of tuberose, orange flower, as well as Turkish rose. And then it dries down to the base notes of sandalwood, hazelnut, and vibrant woods. So you get a little bit of earth, you get a little bit of fruit, and you get a little bit of flower. So it's a really beautiful, complex scent, quite different from what was usually coming out around the time that this came out. There has been a bending to the fruity without substance preference in um, perfumes. That seems to be the way that many of the most popular perfumes are. Either they're fruity without any complexity or they're floral without much complexity. This really does layer a lot of very interesting notes 
to make something that when you wear it, people will say you smell incredible. Um, they won't think you smell delicious. They'll just think you smell really sexy. It's a sexy fragrance. That's the best way to put it. So I like it. I recommend it. I'm going to actually, yeah, take one more smell. Yeah, it smells really nice. You can, you can also smell that sandalwood. Um, when you first, um, smell it, you can smell that, that base note, even though it amplifies a bit when you spray it on and let it dry down. So highly recommend it. If you, of course, have never smelled it before, definitely try it on in a store first, like Sephora or Ulta, and wear it for a few hours because this one, the, fa the scent won't fade easily and people can smell it when you go to embrace them. Though with social distancing, you should only be embracing family. Um, but when you spray it, um, you may find over time that it doesn't suit you as well. So be careful with something like this. It's not going to fade easily. Um, and if you aren't partial to the scent, then it can become um, kind of irritating to you. So be careful with that. But otherwise, if you like the scent and it wears well when you try it, definitely invest in the bottle because as you can see, I still have a lot of it left and I've worn it quite a few times. I've actually had to kind of um, hide it a little bit because my daughter likes to spray it and she oversprays it and she shouldn't wear it anyway because she's not a woman. She's a little girl. This is woman for women, adult people who identify as women. This is who this is for. And you know what's funny? As I say that, even though the name of it is woman, I think it could be kind of unisex. Like, yeah, you got fruity and floral, but there's some base to this that even if you are male or a man, you would probably like this. This would probably work for you too. Um, play around with it. Don't feel like a fragrance because it's marketed to men or to women that that limits your ability to wear it. One of my favorite fragrances was actually a men's fragrance. It was a men's sports fragrance and it just smelled really clean and I got compliments on it. Um, and so don't be afraid to kind of bend those rules and see how you like it because this one, again, the name of it is woman, but look at that bottle. I mean, it's a pretty unisex bottle. Like it doesn't look like it's blatantly for men or women. It's surprisingly unisex looking. So yeah, this is a good one. Men and women, give it a whiff. See how you like it. It will probably become one of your favorites if you like those stronger fruity florals that aren't too childish smelling. So again, Ralph Lauren's women. I, yeah, woman, not women. <laughs> you all are having a great day or evening wherever you are and take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.